Hey guys, it's your girl Ellie back again with another video. So this video is going to be what is titled as always. It's going to be a DIY pot rack renter friendly. So um, I was looking for a pot rack to display some pots, not all of them, just because I don't have a lot of storage for my pots. I have a draw, but it doesn't fit all the pots that I have from the very beginning. I don't know if this is gonna work out. I am hoping it does. I just decided to do it myself and the cheaper way with things I already had in the house. Now, I plan on displaying the pots here. So it's like right over my sink. There's this like dead space. I feel like you can use it for storage. So I have these pots and then I have some that I'm not gonna use as frequent as others. So that's the ones that I wanna display. I don't wanna display pots that are like grimy and dirty because I don't know. Like when the bottom of the pots get all nasty and greasy, I don't like that and I don't wanna display that. So, um, the reason why I say this is renter friendly because I'm renting this place and I don't want to put holes in her wall, so let alone her tiles. So, without further ado, we're going to get right into the video. So I'm going to show you guys the materials that I'm going to use. So the materials you're going to need for this DIY pot rack is pots, of course. I have this wooden dowel that I was going to use for another DIY project. I'm going to use this as like the hangy thingy, but I also have spray paint that I got from Amazon it was like three dollars this was from another project that I had these are like basically command strips but like they're like super strong and super durable I don't even know if you can see them then I have these hooks that I ordered off of Amazon I don't know if you guys can see that but I ordered these just silver hooks off Amazon you so without further ado we're gonna get right into the video so, what I'm going to do is spray paint this wooden dowel silver, and then I'm going to spray paint this thing. Well, I can get a better one actually. I'm going to spray paint the plastic part of this thing because I just want it to look cohesive. I think I'm pretty much protected and covered. So now what I want to do is change my shirt into a painter shirt. I have a shirt specifically for painting. So don't mind the shirt because it already has paint stains on it and it has holes in it. y'all so i'm gonna let it dry oh god it smells like a whole auto shop in here but i'm gonna let this dry guys it says dry to touch in one hour to handle in four hours and fully dry in 24 hours so by the time that happens by the time it hits four hours it will be dark outside i do not have youtube lighting like i don't have recording lighting or nothing like that so the lighting is going to be a little off um honestly i don't like the design on this thing but it's fine to me because it's like nobody's really gonna look at my pot rack and be like well look at that ugly little flower behind her I hope not, but it bothers me a little, but it's fine. Yeah, I'm just throwing out ideas that I would have done if I didn't have these things lying around my house. So basically, I would use the command strips that already came with a silver hook. 
and everything. I'll, I'll show you guys a picture. And the wooden dowel, I would have just gotten like a, a metal one or I would have just ordered a tension rod. So those are other ways that you can do your DIY pot rack and just get the hooks. The hooks are already um, silver, so I'm not gonna spray paint those. Just spray paint these. All right guys, and so it is the next day, hours later, like it's literally six o'clock right now. So I decided that I was gonna shoot this before the sun went down again, because I know I didn't finish it yesterday because the, I was losing the light and I didn't want to show you guys that um, yellow light because I have yellow recess lightings. I showed you guys. Where is it? There. So <laughs> um, we're going to fix this. So I want to measure exactly where I want it on the wall first so let's see I think right before it falls in the sink I think here is fine what do you guys think I think here is fine I think here is fine fully dry So it's, it's really close to the wall, but it's fine. How does that look? I think that looks fine. Oh my god, I'm so proud of myself, y'all. You don't even understand. Okay, this pot has water. I think that looks hella good. What? What do y'all think? It's just a simple DIY and I love it. I, I, I think I'm in love. I love it and then this is not a dead space anymore. You guys. video I'll insert pictures and all that jazz if you guys are interested but I love it this is exactly what I pictured it would look like the hooks could be better I don't know the hooks um, that are holding up the in the rack itself could be better but I just pretty much it's a DIY project I pretty much used what was it was in my house and I am in love what can I just can I just pose with my pot rack? Is that adulting when you're excited over a rack? Like who gets this excited over a rack? I I love it. 
I don't know why I'm so excited over a pot rack. Like, can we? Um, the sun is going down. Look at this. It's a. It's golden hour. <laughs> I know I suck. I always record late, but I'm gonna get YouTube lighting. <laughs> I'm gonna be a real authentic YouTuber and get YouTube lighting. But oh, so if you were like me. You guys, I made this video specifically for people who are like me and were looking for a renter-friendly stuff. So I was looking for renter-friendly pot racks and all of them had screws and all this stuff. Like you do not want to put holes in your landlord's tiles. Why? Because you will probably have to pay for that. Tiles, like holes in the wall is different. You can probably get some putty or something and fill the holes in the wall and like paint it over. But holes in the tile, no that's a no-no so <laughs> if you're like me and you're renting but you really wanted the look like this do this pot rack and it's sturdy it's bruh it's not going anywhere thank you guys so 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 much for watching until the end i don't think this video will be that long but thank you for watching to the end anyway don't forget to like comment and subscribe please so the subscribe button is completely free it is somewhere on your screen all you have to do is click it you'll make somebody's day that somebody being me if you just click the subscribe button share my pit my my page yeah share my page <laughs> share my um videos turn on your post notifications so you can know every time so you're updated with every time that i post um what else follow me on social media so thank you guys so much for watching okay i think i'm done i've been rambling i'm gonna get out of here and take some pictures because it is golden hour and i look cute i did my makeup just for this video okay give me a thumbs up okay because <laughs> we're still in quarantine and i was looking like a hobbit and i didn't want you guys to see me like that so i did my makeup for this but i'm actually gonna take some pictures for the gram okay golden hour the sun's going down okay bye peace thank you for watching bye